hello everyone so today uh, i got a different some a different request from a patron so create this uh, fancy door so when i go here i get the this option if i press e only the master door will be open uh, if i press f all the door flaps will be open so i'm gonna press f to open fully open the door so you guess you can see all the doors uh, flaps are slide into the right and open so like this and similarly this is the same door but if i press only e only the master door is opened like this so yeah this door system this is what i'm going to do today and this episode is requested and sponsored by this generous patron so i got this somewhat different request uh, from a patron so the request is to create a door like this in unreal engine so yeah we can open this door that's the master door and then we are able to slide these other parts of the door and yeah kind of open all the parts like this so a fancy door okay so let's uh, start with a new project i'm gonna use the third person character and let's call it slide in door right create project okay so here is the project as usual right so let's uh, quickly uh, start creating the fancy door mm -hmm. let's create a new folder pp create blueprint let's call it door slide window right uh, let's keep this simple let's create a frame for the doors uh, how large would this be if I place this in the world okay like that all right so let's Point one, point one, point one. Okay, and the height I need about ten. Is it? Oh, it's too large. Five. Still too large. Three. okay that would be enough and we need to move it up how much it should map with the flow so right 150 that's the height okay looks good enough and uh, let's have one master door and two sliding pieces so keep alt pressed and move this so press alt oh it doesn't duplicate oh, right then press ctrl d so control W right one two three okay that's enough uh, this is uh, the frame of the door that I am creating so okay 
duplicate it again with control W and rotate it 90 degrees move to the middle scale it right control D again sorry control W again move it down okay now we have the frame of the door mm -hmm. shall we create a new material M color it's the base color let's give a vector parameter let's set it to red And select all the door frame objects and select M color right now we have the door and we have the door here so when I play it is like this okay right this is the forward this is Y axis okay let's rotate it this is forward this is y axis right uh, now what now let's add the door parts so these uh, are the other parts are frame So I'll add another cube. Oh, not there. Under the default root. And let's set x to point one. And this to three. And this to one fifty and move it this much uh, this should y should be instead of 1 let's go to the yeah it should be 2 okay right now I'll name this door let's call it door 1 and I'll add another scene component ah, not like that it should be like this it should be added to the default road Let's call it to one hint right and let's make this to one a child component of the to one hinge so if I go here and if I now rotate the to one hinge we can close the open the door like this to avoid this effect I'll set to 1 thickness to 0 0.08 okay now it doesn't overlap so no flickering then 
okay let's duplicate this and it should be called dot o hinge and dot o so it should be moved to 200 duplicate again to 3 hinge and to 3 oh why can't I use the to 3 okay should be moved to 400 in x axis all right now actually uh, let's make a transparent material to apply because otherwise it's not visible so let's just duplicate this m to and let's change the material domain to sorry blend mode to translucent and set promote this to a parameter let's set it to 0.5 and this color something like this would be good right now go here select all the door meshes and set the material to m door compile oh i have missed one wait oh we have extra one okay all right so now here we have this uh, fancy door so what i'm going to do is when i go here door will be automatically opened in the way that we see in that video i think it would look more cool if we have some reflections here so right let's say roughness to zero specular one metallic what 0.5 and apply right we have some reflections now yeah it's not visible from this side why ah yeah it is visible okay uh, let's try moving this reflection capture here now we have reflections better in this side okay that's uh, a side detail not really important for the door so how to open the door so i'll create a custom event open right so here i'm gonna give the hinge Hinge is already a child component of the default root. So 
so get it and move component to first i'm gonna move it to the uh zero zero location because in the relative location because when i do that it would be here then i can rotate uh, but this door one hinge is already there so we don't really need to move it but still i'll do it because uh, i am going to create a common macro to use to open all the door panels so right so i'm going to move it to the zero zero location and for the time let's get a relative location and get vector No, let's forget about it. So for now, I'll give one second. Right, after that, in order to open the door, I have to uh, rotate it. Yeah, 90 degrees. It could be minus plus uh, let's go with plus uh, 90 no not here so after this part is completed we can have another move component to here we don't really have to change the relative location but only the rotation like this okay now let's collapse this to a macro open door m go here and in the complete let's add an output and let's duplicate this two times and first give door one hinge then do two hinge then do three hinge okay let's call this with the delay just for testing let's add a delay of two seconds and open two Oh, nothing happened. Let's see. Ah, oh, sorry. I had to set the component here. All right. Okay, the door should be open in the other way. I'll set it to minus 90 then. Right, and also there should be a gap to compensate for the thickness of the door. So for that, we can do something like this instead of this in the x we can give a slight offset let's say 10 so we can expose this to the outside And this one I'll keep as 10. This one has 20. Okay. Did it work? Ah, sorry. I 
have to connect this here to otherwise it will going to move to this uh, 0 0 0 relative location anyway ah again wrong oh I changed is it sorry I should have changed X no why right now we have the three door flaps like this and the door is open okay what else uh, let's build a simple interaction uh, it's for the sake of it here I'll add a collider box collision like this Yeah, let's add then a widget. Yeah. So here we can assign a widget class. Right. Now let's create a widget blueprint wdg to so we only need a text well like this let's set uh, open master door e and open all doors f let's see okay it should be in this green space wait so if the door rotate to this side character will collide with that so therefore I'll set it back to 90 right and this widget should appear only if the character collide with this widget uh, sorry collide with this or uh, collider overlap with this collider so Can you make this hidden in game? Let's see. Yeah. Okay. So this has to be smaller.
let's see how it looks now oh that's too small what was the size before Right, let's center it. Okay. Now, um, here, let's uh, make the widget visible only if we collide with the only if you overlap with this collider so select the box collider and begin overlap set get the widget set visibility sorry set hidden in game to false and then let's create another variable let's call it interaction no we don't need a variable so Now, instead of automatically calling this, uh, let me change this to open all and I'm going to create another. All right, uh, let's create an event on E. And if for the E event that is only open the master door this one for f that means fully open so i call open all so but yeah these inputs will not work simply because i press f for e here because we have to enable inputs enable inputs to this object with the current player controller so we can only enable input when we are at the door now press E that door open if I press F all the doors will be opened like that okay but there was a simple issue if i press c f again you can see all of them closing and opening so yeah to prevent that here instead of leaving it as zero i'll get 
fillet to rotation and use it so we will not have that problem also after we open the door I'll simply disable input as well and also I'll simply remove the widget turn off the visibility set hidden in game to true also if we leave this overlap area uh, we should disable the inputs so select this on component end overlap disable inputs like this and turn off the widget visibility oh actually we don't need to record it here we can just connect it like this and then if uh, after or oh, I call open all yeah now here we need a variable called open initial it is false here I'll set open to true then I should do this only if the door is closed that means door is not open okay let's add a few modules right I'm gonna open only the master door okay here I'm gonna open all the doors oh it is overlapping with the staircase but that's not a big issue but anyway Move it back. Move it back. Open all the doors. Okay. Open only the master door. Okay. Now, right. Okay. So, I'm going to stop this episode right here. Well, yeah, it was simple, but I hope you learned something. Simply blueprint is scripting, at least. Uh, yeah, and thanks for watching. So if you like to support my work, you can get the membership of the Patreon Club. And also, if you want to request custom test tutorials like this also, there is a tier for that too. And yeah, thanks for watching. As always, project files will be available through the Patreon page for download and see you in another episode goodbye